you got to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. People want to change all the time. I want to lose weight. I want to start eating better. I want to quit smoking. But if you're not sick and tired of it, you're just going to be talking about it. I like to think about it in three stages. The first stage is realizing, okay, I want to change. The second stage is coming up with some kind of plan or method of change. And the third stage is actually executing, doing it. There's a lot more stages and different models, but for me, just to simplify it, I break it down into three stages. And most people are in stage one or stage two or in between. They're always just talking about it. Oh, well, for New Year's, I'm gonna quit smoking. Or in two weeks, I'm gonna go on this diet. Everybody's just talking about it and just thinking about it, fantasizing about it. They can't get to the execution. Now, it's hard. It's, it's, if it was that easy, people would just stop smoking. It's as easy as not lighting that cigarette, not putting it in your mouth and lighting it. But it's obviously a lot more difficult than that. There's psychological factors, emotional factors, past trauma, subconscious factors involved. So I'm not saying that it's easy to make change and I'm not bashing on people that can't do it, but I'm trying to give a new perspective on why. And part of the problem is because we're so used to just not acting, taking action. And one of the reasons is because we're not conscious. We're letting our unconscious and subconscious behaviors dictate us. So before we know it, we're already eating sweets or whatever junk food or whatever it is that we're trying to change. And then it's a vicious cycle because we feel guilty about it, we're ashamed. Um, and then next thing you know, we're stressed and we're finding ourselves in that act again. So to me, uh, a strategy or a good way to get to stage three is by noticing. Just notice, don't judge yourself. If you find yourself doing it again and again, just notice it every single time. Notice the patterns, notice when you do it, notice why you do it. Just keep noticing. Because the more conscious you become of your behavior, the more conscious you'll become of your thoughts and your emotions. And when you'll start to be able to catch yourself in the act of it before you do it, then when you start catching yourself or you start noticing it and realizing how bad you feel after you do those things, then you'll finally be sick and tired of being sick and tired and ready to take action.